back on our show in the kitchen once again with uh, Amy Pilarosetti. And uh, Amy is back with us, and she's uh, going to resume her Indian cuisine cooking classes very soon, I think next month. Amy, next we've month. missed you. She's we have. Been, she's been a world traveler. <laughs> yeah, Tell us what you've busy. been up to. Been well, busy. nothing much. Went home and actually did go and see uh, really the main chef, head chef at a Ramada Inn there. And he's really great cook. So I home just Home is where? Up. Home is in North India. North India. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And then just did that and then came back and went to Seattle and just got back. <laughs> what well, was in Seattle? Uh, actually, not a good news. My sister-in-law oh. was sick. So, oh, you know, I'm sorry. Was, I'm yeah, sorry. So was, well, we're yeah. happy to have your back. Yep. And Thank I'm sure you. everybody's I'm happy, happy to, to be here. the cooking classes return. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You know, And we're going to do today shrimp fry. What, what I really learned is that if you have basic five, six Indian ingredients, which are easily available in the supermarket here, mm -hmm. you can really mix and match them, and you can do a wonderful job with just those things. So today we are making shrimp for, uh, shrimp fry with actually peppers. I have some red peppers here, and some yellow peppers, some onions, and clove, and some ginger in here. Right. And we take it's all easily available, and you take this. You don't have to go to a specialty no, store. No, right. you don't you have go to go there. And so anywhere. you take this and put a little bit of water and microwave it for like close to three minutes when they're a little mushy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a grinder or a hand mixer at home. Then you take that and you mix it up and it becomes like this. Wow. Okay, once you have that, you have a little bit of oil in a pan mm -hmm. and you, do, you just pour this whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. And okay. then you fry it for about 10 minutes like we have it in here. Mm -hmm. And after that, I got some shrimp here we just had a little bit of turmeric. Everybody knows turmeric. Mm -hmm. It's easily available in Kroger. And a little bit of salt. And then you mix that and marinate it for 15 minutes. And after you, this thing is just heated up a little bit. You just throw the shrimp in there. And mm -hmm. let it, cover it and let it cook till they become kind, kind of a shrink up. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they are doing that. You take some black pepper. And there you mm -hmm. can find the recipe, actually, if you go on Lal Mirch, dot org and go under public recipes you will find this recipe okay. there everything i do at klb and goes in public recipe and they are available there right. so we got some um, red pepper here we got some almonds here and we got some cloves here and they're all easily available at kroger mm -hmm. our common local store mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you take these and you grind them in a coffee grinder everybody has a coffee grinder at home <laughs> mm -hmm. right but you coarse grind them and uh -huh. this is how it looks Ooh. After your shrimp is shrunk up, gone round in there, all you do is take this, which you know, and just pour, pour this on top of it, mm -hmm. mix it all up, and then you can add a little bit of, just to give it color, red and yellow peppers on it. And then mix it real well. Indian cuisine is always <coughs> full of colors. And then what you get oh is this. Gosh. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, beautiful. now you can serve this shrimp as it is. Mm -hmm. You can shrimp it with some salad as an appetizer, mm -hmm. or if you want to go a little further down, you can take this and serve it with some rice. Gosh, it's <laughs> gorgeous. And this you got some fried rice with uh -huh. a little coconut in it. Okay. Not too much. Coconut fried rice. That sounds good. <coughs> with some veg vegetables and some cashew nuts. And so then this is a full meal. You mm -hmm. can have this as a full meal, or you can just serve it for appetizers with the drink. Mm -hmm. It goes very well with beer. What a coating that it forms on the shrimp is just it's unbelievable. The, it's just the peppers yeah. and just this mixture. And again, when we talk about Indian cuisine, <coughs> we talk me. about very healthy eating. Yes. Right. And I use very little oil. I mean, mm -hmm. you will not see any, you know, maybe, maybe a couple of tablespoons of oil in this and right. vegetable oil. You can you do it with the olive oil, too. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be. And for the rice, also a little bit of oil. You cook the rice separately, boil them. Then you mix your veggies and onions and fry them. And then at the end, you mix them and put some cashews on it. Amy, the, the class is coming up end of next month. Uh, <coughs> uh, how end would of people, April. How would people... Uh, uh, get in touch with you. Well, they can go and, you know, we have a Facebook page, which okay. is called Lal Mirch School of Cooking. We also have lalmirch.org website. They can call me at, Lal, you know, at 318-792-1147. Uh, mm -hmm. They can email us at lalmirchschool at gmail.com or they can email me at amy.pilarisethi at gmail.com. Okay. Spell Lamar for us. Um, the, Your, the name of the cooking school. Lal Mirch. L 
A L M I R C H. Okay. Okay. Language. Okay. And I think four right classes. There. There'll be a four classes. There are four classes, and se each session is four classes. And we we approach them. If you are new, we will tell you all about the spices, what to use, how to use, and then if you are joining in, you will just go to the next session. Like we have done the appetizers, we have done the basic. Uh, all the sauces and all mm -hmm. that, and we have done some soups, mm -hmm. and then you go to the next step. What and I tell you what, you do book up. So the <coughs> yeah. thing is, if you want to try this, call early, yeah. make your yeah. reservations. And we have only ten. Uh, we, 